If you are still watching this tutorial, I am super proud of you. You have made it till this point that we are almost done with our full application. I am super proud of you. So now the only two things that are remaining are firstly to start the timer as soon as the person starts typing something and secondly to check whether whenever the person types check whether he is typing correct or incorrect and accordingly change this information so in this particular video i am going to tell you how can you create an event handler on this particular uh, text area and according to it how can you start this particular timer so let's get started so first of all i am going to create as i told you in the previous project as well there is no direct way of communication between a child component to a parent component so our state and everything is managed inside our app but the type the exact typing area the text area is present inside the typing challenge typing challenge dot jsx so what we have to do here is we instead of like sending the data from here to app there's no way to do that but what we can do is create a function here and pass on that function to the te uh, text challenge this particular text area and then as soon as the user starts typing something we can actually call that particular uh, function that we created here so that will be defined in our app dot jss jsx but will be called from inside that particular text area so let me tell you how to do that very quickly and very simply so i'm going to create a simple function and i'm going to call it handle user input and i am going to take a simple value of input value so this is going to be the argument of this particular function so what i'm going to do here is for now nothing i'm just going to call console.log and I'm going to log my input value. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass it down to my challenge section. So now just to show you that we don't need to have the same name inside our challenge section, I am going to name it as on input change instead of that handle input change. And from there, I am going to I'll just pass it on the handle user input. Let's go inside the challenge section and inside the challenge section we are going to do the same thing it's going to be on input change the name of the prop here is on input change so i'm going to uh, pull it pull out the on input change here and i'm going to pass it down to my test container so from inside my test container i am going to again pass it down to the typing challenge container so again as i told you this something sometimes becomes super annoying and that's why we use the things like redux and all so yes i am going to call it from my i'm going to pull it out inside my, the props of my typing challenge container as well and then finally 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 pass it down to my typing challenge and this is probably going to be the last one so inside my typing challenge if we go inside the typing challenge it's going to be super easy so now we can safely delete the selected paragraph because we are not using the selected paragraph here. There's no need for it if we are not using it. So now inside our text area, very simply, as we did in the last project as well, if you remember, I am going to use this particular event handler, which is on change. And on change, we will have the event and we can actually call the on input change here with e dot target dot value so this e dot target dot value e is the event event object which has a target object and inside the target object the value corresponds to what we are typing here so this should absolutely work let's quickly test it out let me open my console and uh, what happens is all right so something that we also missed in the last video so inside each test letter, so test letter is repetitive uh, component with some different text inside it or with some different element inside it. So as you might remember, so React needs a unique key prop inside every uh, every 
component that we that we put through using uh, some array so what i'm going to do here is very simply i am going to go inside my typing challenge so it's just a little bit of detour from our normal procedure that we were following that we were making to actually uh, do this particular change of handle input but what we are going to we are just resolving the simple warning here how so basically this test letter requires a unique key prop as well so one way could be i could have passed the individual letter dot uh, test letter here so but the thing is that test letter is not going to be unique because my and mother so in those two things m and m is common name and mother a is common a is common so this is definitely not going to be unique so from here i can see one thing that since it's an array definitely the index is going to be unique because there are going to be every letter will have one unique index so the second argument in our map function is actually the index of that particular letter so simply i'm just going to pass on the index here and that should actually resolve our problem let's refresh the page and as you can see the warning is gone now and let's start typing here something to see whether it appears on our console or not so i'll start typing my name so something went wrong let's see what went wrong here so basically it says on input change is not a function so errors are a part of your coding journey without errors you're not going to have a, your own coding journey so but the thing is we should be able to understand what happened wrong what went wrong and how can we fix it so it says that on input change is not a function why let us check it out so let's first of all go to our app.js and let's see whether we are passing it correctly so on input change we are passing it and the problem here is we are actually trying to fetch it from the state and not this is not from state this is a separate function so we can simply do this dot handle input this is a simple mistake which i did in a little bit of hurry which you should not so that's why we say the more we practice the more easily we are able to figure out the mistakes that we did while coding so this should actually handle it and now if we refresh the page and if we start typing let's say my name is so as you can see here it is correctly giving us the things that we are typing here so it is very very simple so yes it is showing him here now that my name is Martha it is showing me the input value so let's do one thing let's handle the timer in the next video because this video became a little bit long just handling the user input so I am going to see you in the next video super quick bye bye and take care